All right, so I checked on the firmware, and this is version 1.53.167, with a date of uh, 2022, April or uh, March 21st. On the FlashForge website, it's also labeled 1.53. It doesn't give any extra digits, <coughs> but the date listed on the uh, firmware on the FlashForge download site said April. April 18th or something. So it's, the date is after this. I'm assuming it's a later version. So I went ahead and loaded it on a uh, SIM card. And you're supposed to be able to uh, plug it in here into this adapter, into this, uh, and then boot it up. And then it should update the firmware when you boot it up. So we're going to try that. All right, so I got the firmware SIM card in the machine. I'm going to turn it on. We'll see what happens when it boots up. See if it. Um, you can hook a, hook a computer up to it and use flash print to update the firmware, but I thought it'd be easier just to do it this way. It may tell us it's the same version, it's not going to update, but we'll see. Oh, I did say upgrading, so that's good. So this is a newer version, hopefully it'll fix that bug. Seems like a pretty obvious bug to me, but maybe they didn't spot it. They only tested it using the... Uh, all right, so I'll wait till this updates, and we'll come back and see if the uh, uh, filament load uh, respects the preheat temperature. All right, it says upgrade completed. So let's uh, power off. It says please restart. So we'll power it off, and then we'll take the SIM card out, and then we'll boot it up again. All right, we'll check the version. All right, it's the same version, so I didn't upgrade it. On the some of the other FlashForge printers, like the Dreamer, the Dreamer NX, the preheat temperature is used for both the uh, preheating the the print head and also. Uh, setting the temperature for load and unload. Let's get this started. Of the filament, uh, which makes sense because you're he you're preheating it. So why wouldn't you want to use the unload and unload the filament at the same temperature? But on the guider too, there's a separate temperature that you can set. You have to set. So if when I go to filament page, there's this little indicator up in the upper left hand corner here. And you actually can tap that, and it brings up a separate temperature to set. So that's, uh, I guess it's more flexible, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So we're ready to unload and load the filament. We just need to set this temperature before we do it. The other thing that happens is uh, on the Dreamer, it would remember at least the last uh, preheat temperature that you set. For both the, the extruder and the bed, the platform. Uh, but on the uh, guider too, at least with the 1.53 firmware, uh, it, it doesn't remember. It always defaults back to uh, 220 and 50 degrees. So, just to set those each time when you start up, uh, it's not a big deal. But it would be more convenient if it remembered and those two temperatures were the same. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up.